So, Jerry, three goals, three points for your side this afternoon. You must be pleased with the performance. First and foremost, yeah, aside from the result, I thought the performance was absolutely fantastic. Um, certainly on the front foot, we went after them early in the game, playing our 3 4 3 system. Um, three wonderful goals. Noah's good strike, first half. Lovely counter attack goal with Thompson sliding through Sam Pearson, a great finish, dinking the keeper. And then it's always nice when you get one near the end there just to kill the game off 3 1 with Tom Smith arriving. I thought to a man, they were, they were immense. There's, um, I was chatting to Gavin before, a lot of respect for this Dulwich team. Um, they play football the right way. Um, He's a, he's a creative coach and a coach I like going up against. And I knew it would be a good football match today. They're a good side, by the way. And um, they've hit a team that's in really good form. And, um, you know, listen, we, we come under some criticism from time to time, you know, when things haven't quite been going our way. But I'll tell you what, that's a, that's a lovely little run we're on at the moment. And um, I remember coming here last year and a similar thing happened. We come in one and then we went on a really great run. So um, credit to the players. It's the hard work we've been putting in in training, the patterns that they're showing out there and the defensive solidity, um, the willingness to defend our box is, has been terrific. So um, all round a really, really pleasing performance. Yeah, and from a sort of forward perspective, maybe the cutting edge has been lacking a couple of times in recent weeks with only one goal, but in the second half in particular, those two goals showed that the front players are up to scratch as well. I don't, I don't agree with that. I think we've had a cutting edge. It's just because you're winning games 1-0 doesn't mean say you haven't got a goal threat. Um, it's some teams defend well, some goalkeepers pull off good saves. And... Um, and we've been creating. It's just been waiting for the times when, when the goal ball's fallen for us or the technique's been right at the end of it. Um, we've got some really... Oh, look at the abundance of attacking players we've got in this team with Ryan Brunt, Andy Watkins, Ross Stern on the bench. Um, that's an attacking threat on the bench that have come off. But in the moment, Tom Smith, Sam Pearson and Adam Mann are keeping those boys out of the team. So really promising signs. Um, as I said, it's, it's a backbone as well. We've, we've conceded a really poor goal. That's only a disappointment. Second half, we made a mistake there and we conceded a poor goal. But our defensive record is now equal to the best in the league, I think. So um, when you talk about how indifferent we've been, I think, um, I think we can all clearly see that we're, we're a team that's full of confidence. We're a team that's been working ever so hard to get to this point. Um, of course, nothing's won. All it's done is put us in a really good position again in the league. Teams would have had games called off today and all I've said to the boys there, just keep adding to our total. We can't worry about anyone else. Just worry about first our performance levels. Can we get back to or can we continue those performance levels that have continued since the Maidstone game? Um, and, and, and hopefully those results come along, which they are at the moment. And Harvey Wiles Richards in goal this afternoon. You said pre-match it was an opportunity for him. Do you feel like he took it? I thought he was terrific. I really did. There's not many teams at this level have a 17-year-old goalkeeper in their team, first and foremost. So credit to the staff who've worked with him, not much as myself. We've got Dom in, who's been doing some work with him and he's been developing lovely over the course of time. Um, we've had a really detailed chat with his father and with him at the start of the season to where we think he is with his development. He understands it, he gets it. Um, but today he was called upon and... Um, I had no hesitation. I didn't, even, I didn't even put a phone call into him because I could trust him. I knew it. I just turned up and I just wanted to treat it like any other game as if he was playing for our youth team or whether he was playing in the Somerset Cup. And um, I think that's probably the best way. He's come in. Everything he's handled has been very clean. There's one in the first half, but only a little one where he's caught the wrong side. Other than that, his all-round game's been terrific. His kicking's good anyway. He's a very confident young man. And... Um, People will take notice of him because he's 17 years of age, and rightly so. So he's got himself in really good condition this season. Um, and he's a boy that is enjoying being around us. As I said, he, he got his debut at 16 with us as well in the FA Trophy. So he's been around us since 15. Um, and to be training with us since the age of 15 has helped him. Um, but of course, it's down to him. He has to, he has to get himself in a position that he will be selected for the team. And um, like I said, we had no hesitation in doing it today. And talking about him being a youth player on the youth side, they've got first round of the FA Youth Cup this week. Is he show the rest of those players that actually if they perform do well, they will be given an opportunity? Well, yeah, we're not we're not going to get carried away with things. It's, um, the college the college system, the college setup. There's a massive void between that level and our first team level, of course. But there will be there will be opportunities for players if they're if we feel like they're good enough. First and foremost, it starts in training. So we've got a young player. I don't want to name. We've got a young player at the moment in training with us from the youth setup. But it takes, it takes a course of time for them to get anywhere near the pace of our training, first and foremost. As I said, Harvey's been around us since 15, training with us as a training goalkeeper. So um, what it does is it shows that if they are committed, if they are willing to turn up for training on a Tuesday and turn up on a Thursday when they've got a game on a Wednesday for the college, um, that's the first bit. Their attitude has to be right to it. Then you never know what might happen for them. So um, it's, it's good for the football club. It's good for the college system, for Billy Clark. Um, and it's good, it's good for Bath City, as I said, because, again, that average age out there have been extremely young, that team. 
So going forward, I know there's a lot of loans in it and people talk about loans and why do we get them in? Well, hopefully you'll see why we got loans in. These boys, they buy into it. They, they love playing for Bath City um, and they fit our philosophy and fit, fit our style. And thanks to those clubs, I, I mention every week because it's important. And the players we've got, the clubs, the parent clubs, take care of them. And I mean, they are in constant conversations. I do reports back to them. And we're a big part of their development. And um, if I'm thinking about players like James Morton, and I watch Antoine Semenyo go on last night for Bristol City, we're proud of that as a football club that we can develop and help develop some of these players as well in the EFL and further. So um, we had to do it to get our right way. And um, these boys are helping us alongside all the boys that have been here as well. All right, Joe, thanks very much and well done this afternoon. Cheers. Thanks, Michael.